Hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Mother 3. Last time, we found out that the Pigmas are taking over Osoe Castle, but we managed to get by the Spittoon Room with Wes with his mad twerking skills. Anyways, I got my head and did some off-screen training. Yes, you can leave the door and come back in. I got my right head, fought some pig mass, and got Duster all the way up to level 20. And so far, that's actually pretty good. Um, actually, level 20 is the perfect level for this point of the game. I was way under level being only 16. Whoa, that's a big flash of ice or something. Hey, it's that girl we seen earlier. And is that a bear trap? Wes? Is that you, you old geezer? You know each other, huh? Oh, Princess. So it was you. I hope this brings back memories. But times, I wouldn't remember you for not but a little bit. No, no, no. Wait, I'm so giddy that I mixed up my words. I haven't forgotten about you for but a bit. No, no, wait. Just do you moron, get your act together! <laughs> Whatever. I got my leg caught up in this stupid ass trap. And I can't afford to die here, so I was just thinking about cutting my foot off. Jesus. Bit dramatic. Oh, I see you are as reckless as ever. But you need a resort to remove your fur, princess. And for me and my thief arts, a trip of this sort is absolutely nothing to never worry about. Nope, wait, wait, it's just leave it to me. I'll this off faster than you can say piece of cake. Piece of cake. You didn't get it off in time! Princess, I'm so pleased to know you're alright. It's the pendant. Hey, my pendant, so you stole it, huh? Damn, can't let me guard down for even a second. He's your son, geezer. <sighs> His breath kinda stinks. Your name's Dusters, huh? My name's... A strong, wise, and weather masculine girl. Her name is Kumatora. And for those who do not know, yes, her name is a pun. Kuma literally translates as Tiger. Well, Tora translates as Bear. Oh, wait. Did I get that swapped around? Ah, uh, whatever. I'll have some text correct me if I'm wrong. I should know my Japanese, but hey, can be perfect. It's actually been a long time since I study out. But anyways, yeah, Tiger Bear, that's the joke about how bears bite their legs off when they're in traps. Like a gummy bear! Er, gummy bears! The snack you'll bite your leg off for! Anyways, enough robot chicken. Kimatora, nice to meet ya. What are you doing? Let's go! Wherever you're heading, princess. Isn't it obvious? You guys are for it too, ain't ya? Treasure, huh? But your leg is injured. Just a little spit on it and it'll be good as new. Let's move. Hey, geezer son, escort me, will ya? Jeez. Kumatora joins your party! Uh, about the funniest thing I wanted to bring up about my Japanese, uh, I mean, I got this Four Dummies book on learning Japanese that uh, I like wanted to study through throughout my college semester, and unfortunately I misplaced it, so I was like, well, crap, I can't I guess that's 50 bucks down the drain. Turns out the book was 
pretty much where I was keeping all my notes. It was just, it was turned out to be the same book that I put all my notes on top of. So, yeah, that's really stupid of me. Word on the wind. Greetings. I apologize for being so sudden, but you know the phrase, the word on the wind is? Yeah, I'm that wind. Why, well, I'm where rumors come from. Rumor has it that Kumator, the mysterious strong girl who just joined you, is able to use psychic powers, or PSI. If it's true, then you'll definitely have the upper hand in battles from now on. Well, that's all for this word on the wind. I should be going now. Bye! What's the hold up? Let's get going already. Ha. <laughs> Yes, if you go ahead and check, Kumatora does have, um, PSI. She already lost five of them, and let's actually see what PSI attacks she's thrown. Uh, she used PK Freeze on us, which cost it five. It, ice damage to one energy, enemy, not energy, enemy occasionally solidifies the enemy. Fire damage to all enemies, occasionally set enemies on fire for PK Fire Alpha. We already encountered Fire Alpha a little bit. Anyways, there are some enemies right here. The Lingering Spirit. This guy is gonna have a lot of defense, plus he can use PSI Fire, but a PSI Freeze will take him out in one hit. Here we go, vanish into thin air. Now let's try to get a back attack on one of them. Nope. Use a siren beetle and have Kumikor guard. Ah, uh, didn't work. Great thief fart, Wes! There we go, now it turned around. Oh, you did too this time. Seriously though, Wes is actually very good. Not so good against Lingering Spirits though, apparently. Now here we can use the Rope Snake to swing us all across. I guess Rope Snake is very powerful. Here's a frog right there. You got the Fleece Charm, which... Um, would be good for... Hold on. As you can see, it goes up for Akumatora and increases defense by 5. However, it also is going to lower her... Um... Unfortunately, Akumatora has some equipment that also increases her power point. So instead, I'm just gonna put the Fleet Charm on. Should I? Should I give it to Kum... You know what? I'll give it to Kumator, and you know what? I'll equip it on Kumator later. Like, right before the boss. More lingering spirits. And shoot, we got two of them this time. Oh! Doctor Duster attacks with blinding speed. Yeah, you can attack enemies on occasion right off the start. As you can see, using Big Eye Fire, which can attack both of us. Thunder Bombs have no effect. Okay, took out that spirit. And wow, didn't need freeze on that one, okay. Had less HP than I thought. Here's some barrel men. Ooh, got a back attack on that. Wow, that technically... That was almost a 5 hit combo. Nice. Good thing I'm not cutting out battles anymore. And gotta level up. Also very nice. Here's a new enemy, the Osoe Cape. Um, this guy is pretty annoying. He is weak to PK Fire, however, so let's use that on him. A 
awesome, got him turned around, so we got his back sprite. Don't scold me. Dum -bum 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 -bum. There we go, so now we got his back sprite. Now I believe right here is um Magic Joken, we cover some PSI. Or barrel man that we can smash right through. Danger! Brooms ahead! Ah, I hate this room. You see these brooms? Well, remember that trash can at the beginning of the video? Yeah, touch these brooms and you'll end up back in that trash can so you'll crawl right back out and have to climb back up again. Very annoying. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get away! And shoot. At least we got both items, so yeah, that happens. Okay, I'll cut all the way, go back up there and cut. Oh, here's an advantage. As you can see, Kumatora started to feel feverish. Seems like the word on the wind will have some explanation to this. Greetings, I apologize for being so sudden, but you know the phrase the word on the wind is. Thanks for the intro again. It appears that one of your friends is not feeling well. She isn't poisoned nor is she sleepy, yet she can't get rid of that ill feeling. She lacks the energy to run and using items or hot springs don't seem to help either. It would seem this is because something is beginning to awaken inside her. But I'm sure she'll get over it before long, so don't be worried. I'll that's Yeah, basically when someone gets feverish, you can no longer run. However, you can walk along the wall, and that animation does count as walking, so... Walking along the wall for a while, and... Yeah, you can do this anytime there's a wall nearby and someone's feeling feverish. This only happened to people who learn PSI. If you wait long enough, this might take a while. The fever goes away? And Kumatora learns life up. Yeah, when unlike in Earthbound and Mother, where characters instantly learn PSI moves upon leveling up, in this game you actually have to wait a while until you uh, reach a certain level and then walk around a little bit to get, become feverish. And only once that fever goes away do you learn PSI attacks. So there's a bit of extra work for learning PSI attacks. Well, have better luck with the broom room since one of the brooms has disappeared, the one that swept us away. Oh, for Pete's sakes! Yeah, each time you get touched by the broom, that broom disappears, so it actually becomes easier. Um. Each time you lose at it. And it sucks because not only do I have to go all the way back, but there's the knowledge that in my practice runs I actually gone through here flawlessly and now I start doing commentary and I can't do it at all. And I ran into a frog. That was easy. And Kumatora is now level 12. Very nice. I hope that she'll get a fever soon. Wow, that was... Came out more and more of it than I intended. Oh, jeez, I got all three here. Okay, here's the thing about PSI Thunder. It fire it attacks all enemies but that's not good when those flames are there so I'm gonna have to rely on life up actually no screw that I'm running oh come on Come on! Sheesh! Oh, 
That was crazy. Oh, now that happens. So we get a back attack on it. I believe this is a magic tart. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, good idea to break, give the saddling items to Kumatora. Just trust me. Ooh, got yogurt now. That's awesome. A uh, bag of four chips. Give it to Kumatora so she can get fat. The curious cheese. Also give to Kumatora. And you know what? I'll... Actually, no. Kumatora uh, doesn't really like cheese, so I'll give that back to Duster. For Duster, you can give her the edible mushroom. There you go. And Kumatora, go ahead and use that magic gelatin. Actually, use a magic tart instead. Use that. And the magic gelatin. Hmm, should I? Yeah, why not? Also, a good idea to check your battle memory and make sure that you got everything that you want. I missed out on the big bro, but thankfully they are still there in chapter 3, so make sure that you got everybody. It includes these zombies, zombie dogs, that slime does not have a back sprite, Master Passion doesn't have a back sprite, and like I said, big bro I can get in chapter 3. Okay, let's go in here because it looks like this might be a shrine. Yes, here we are. An egg with swings. This is where I hid it. Duster, this. It's a certain important item I had instructed you to bring back. So I guess we just had to go a bit farther. It seems to be known as the Egg of Light, or the Hummingbird Egg. Do they Zold? Not even I know anything about this egg. Then why do you want it so badly? The Hummingbird Egg is a ball of secrets inside secrets that are inside even more secrets. Or something like that. Supposedly, apparently. And now this bottle of secrets is needed. So it's the secrets inside that you want, huh? If this round out in the wrong hands, the lid on the secrets will come undone and... Bad things would happen. Just one sort of hope or calamity is hidden away in this egg. Not even I know. In any case, this hummingbird egg is our secret. But it, but doesn't it seem kind of ridiculous that the egg of a tiny little hummingbird holds the world's secrets? That's a bit big for a actual hummingbird's egg. Indeed, it's quite ridiculous. But that's what's most ridiculous of all. Is this moron standing right here, Duster? This egg gives us such a thick sense of secrets that's so concentrated, it almost reminds me of condensed milk. Or yogurt. Yet, you could even catch a single whiff of it. That's how much of a moron you are! You're a failure as a thief! Aww. You shouldn't keep calling your own kid a moron like that. Duster is not a kid, he's in his 20s. I'm only 19, and I don't consider myself a kid. Because if he really is a moron, he wouldn't understand anyways. True. Anyways, we can't let the bad guys get their hands on this egg. Speak of the devil. Oh, 
Uh, we can't handle three clay men's. We couldn't even handle one. Not four. That geezer, Duster. Let's get out of here. But they have the only exit. Burgess, please wait. I know it appears to be sitting there nonchalantly, but I place traps around the egg. Traps. Should have seen that coming. Princess! My bad. I don't like those skulls. Did someone like try to jump across those ledges without the rope snake? Princess, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, but... Huh? What's the matter? If you're worried about that moron, don't be. He's being trained for this sort of thing. And yet you call him a moron. No, it's not Duster. The egg is gone! Come again? The moron is a gun, but the egg is? Or the moron has the egg. Oh. Oh, the egg. Oh, and Duster. Yes, all right. Well done. I've called you a moron 11 times so far. Let's go back and count. But I can take it all back now. You are no longer a moron. Hooray! Yay! Oh, no. I don't know I'd say hooray just yet. Here it is, the chapter boss, the oh-so-snake. This guy is interesting. He's very weak to smoke bombs. So go ahead and start a smoke bomb to make him cry. He is very powerful otherwise, so definitely start off with a smoke bomb. I get mandated level 24, but Duster is only level 20. It's also weak to PK Thunder, but I did not get PK Thunder. Nor do I get PK Healing, so I'm gonna have to go for the second best thing, which is PK Freeze. I really wish I had Thunder, because that would have been excellent against the boss. Okay, Smoke Bomb. That might give us a chance. Oh, smash me up anyways, huh? All right, next thing to do is use the scary mask to lower his offense and you know what? Life up because you just took a smash attack, Kumatora. Didn't work. Alright, so let's use the scary mask again, and Kumatora, keep on using PK Freeze. Doesn't have any assist moves. Again, really wish I trained up to have Thunder, but oh well. Thankfully, it has no way of regaining its offense or defense. Woo, solidified! Awesome! Let's go ahead and use the Tickle Stick, and another PK Freeze. I've said this three times already, but I wish I had Thunder. And only one level two would have probably done it if I just walked around some more and be patient. Alright. And so, uh, end of that. Next thing to do is, well, is weak to bombs. Well, it's not necessarily weak to bombs. Since I don't have PK Thunder, I'll just have to use a Thunder Bomb in its place. Actually, you know what? Use a Sprinting Bomb first because. Eventually, it's gonna get even more weak to PK Thunder if we just wait. Use another PK Freeze. PK Freeze! You worry about her safety, you should worry about my safety. Alright, gonna keep on saving those Thunder Bombs for later. For now, just keep up that PK Freeze, Kumatora. And I was able to move again. Ah, missed twice. Crime was good. Now you don't want to knock it off out too fast, so enough with the solidification. 
Woo! Three hit combo on the boss! Um, it does have an another form. Actually, it's a good idea to guard because it has a very powerful attack immediately afterward. Guard, guard. Yep, that's the move I'm talking about. Cause a giant wave. Good thing we guarded against that. As you can see, our HP is moving slowly, but as soon as we let go, it starts scrolling again. Right now, it's even more weight to the Thunder Bombs because it's underwater. Let's go ahead and immediately use life up on ourselves. Okay, I guess it doesn't make it more weak. Never mind. Have to take another turn to emerge back out of the water. Use another Thunder Bomb. And use Life Up on Duster. Of course, that also means that this HP is gained low. Okay, no more bombs. Let's. Uh, I think it's still blinded. Is it crying? I don't know. I'll use a smoke bomb, take that risk. And PK freeze. Because now that we got it both bright, okay, it is still crying. Because now that we got both um, sprites for it, I don't care so much about um, continuous solidification anymore. The sock actually has a chance of solidifying the enemy if you want to know, but it seems like PK Freeze did that for me. And I almost want to say that thing about PK Thunder. Ironically, I said it about PK Thunder again. I wish I had it. Oh well. I guess I'll get it next time I play as Kumatora. Oh, so Snake became tame. That's awesome. Hmm? Something's happening. Now what? Don't let go of the egg! Because you're not grabbing it, so I'll just go away without you. That's later and fuel saving us. Must have been paying butch off, is it? Oh, you're awake, either. Where are we? My house? You and this especially tough girl got washed down the river. Good thing my dad was there, because I wouldn't be. would have pretended not to see you if it'd just be me. Really, fuel? How do I not know that you've seen Hinawa get killed by a robot dinosaur? Huh? Leonard secretly knows everything. I see. Thank you, Fuel. Did you find that moron with us, too? You mean Duster? Yeah, you is just you two. You know, for a couple, you sure do have a big age difference. Whoa there! That moron. I mean, Duster. Taking his damn merry time. He's in big trouble once I find him. You said he's not a moron anymore, you jerk. You were both unconscious. You should get a little more rest. Don't be dumb. Let's go look for him right now. Wouldn't it be awful if she gets a fever? Anyways, good idea to grab the Thunder Bomb here. I know it's the end of the chapter, but hey. Still a good idea to keep it for later chapters. Now this is actually really funny. Talk to Scamp. 
Do you suppose it might? I knew something good would have happened. Do you suppose it might have been meeting you? I can't shake the feeling that something nice is up going to happen to this fellow snow. Could happen to me, even? Maybe. And his attitude changed as soon as he sees a pretty girl. Hey, mister, are you a friend of Duster's? Yes. I bet you're popular with the girls, huh, mister? Hold on, Allie. I think that's a miss, not a mister. Uh, jeez. Quentin Southwest, that is... Oh, for peace sakes! You know what? I'll cut it. I'm just gonna cut it. Fever went away. PK Thunder Alpha. I swear, it's just like an Earthbound. Um, like when I was fighting Frankie and I was like one level away from learning PSI Rockin'. And then once I, when I figured that I would actually finally get PSI Rockin' before I fight the Frankinator, but no, I had to be four EXP away from that greatness. Oh well, learn PK Thunder, brand attacks enemies at random. Fires one third of all occasionally causes paralysis, can't be reflected by any kind of PSI. So yeah, it goes right through shields, but you can't aim it at anyone. Anyways, let's go on through. Hey, it's Butch. Uh. Alright. I never decided what voice should I give him. Should it be Oh Man Wish? Or Oh Man Wish? I know that this original voice I gave him was Oh Man Wish, but he looks more like a Oh Man Wish. I don't know. I'll try him with the later voice. See. See how annoying that gets. Where's Duster and that scum bucket? Whoa, watch the language. That was one letter away from being very nasty for my channel. Who's the one I told about the money I hold in the world? And now it's gone. Which means Duster stole it. That was my money. My precious. My pretty ring. Okay, enough about that. You already told us a thousand times, but where did you get it in the first place? And besides, what is money anyways? This seems... all too fishy, if you ask me. There's Flint. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Okay, that is a very stupid voice. I'll go back to the original. Look, Wes and Duster are both thieves. But they never did anything before, because we never had anything to steal in our village. Remember, we're communists, but we all know we'd steal good stuff like money if we ever saw it. You don't even know what money does. Alright, shut your hole and listen, punk! Uh, hiding behind uh, others, really? Who are you? A friend of the thieves? No violence! No violence! Oh, you're just like Pokey. Oh man, Wes. Let's just... All, all of us come down. That's something for you to say, Flint, considering you beating the crap out of Abbott. Picking up a fuss won't help us figure out anything, especially with Duster gone. The villagers and I believe you. For now, let's just wait for Duster to come back. Yeah, because Duster is apparently the perpetrator, but Duster did nothing about nothing to it. Duster, you moron. You better come back soon. The mysterious group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures in an almost toy-like fashion has finally commenced its fan to alter the town, the lives, and even the hearts of the people. 
It seems as if the grand scheme of some sort is hidden behind the actions of the suspicious peddler who has recently arrived. However, not everyone is content to sit quietly by as the enemy continues its odious attacks from every angle. Flint, whose family's bonds were torn to shreds. Wes and his son, the thieves of justice. Prentice Kumatora, the mysterious girl who suddenly appeared. Destiny is bringing together those who would use their power for good. And what has become of Lucas, the crybaby? You know what? Even the game Lucas came from should not have the right to call Lucas a crybaby. By the end of this game, I'll prove to you just how awesome Lucas is compared to Mewtwo. Yes, I'm calling out Mewtwo. Put your hate comments below. I'll read them. I'll read every single one of them. I'm calling out Mewtwo for not being as awesome as Lucas. <sighs> but that's a no story for another part. Remember to... Despite what I just said about Mewtwo, don't get me wrong, Mewtwo is cool in his own way. Despite what I said about Mewtwo, if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more of Let's Play Mother 3 as well as a few Pokemon videos here and there, make sure to subscribe and yeah, leave behind your comment think, describing how you feel about this video and what you like and dislike about it. I'll see you guys next time in the next chapter.